Good morning, everybody. Starting, uh, just tuning in a minute early to kind of give people a chance to log on and get set up. It's, uh, smart TVs turned on, get everything projected on, up onto something bigger than your phone, hopefully. Uh, Allie's here, and hopefully Stella will come down and visit us, too. I don't think, I think it's beneath Bowser for him to come down here. But we'll see what happens. And we'll see how long Allie stays with us. If she starts to get a little, uh, that toy's loud. So we'll see. I tried to bring things that she couldn't, you know, disembowel while we were here. And I try and take it away from her, but then it turns into a game of tug of war. So, uh, again, start, looks like people are popping on. So we'll just give it a few more seconds and then we'll start uh, getting our heart rate taken. Although Allie must get her heart rate up because she's so very exciting. And loud. <laughs> okay, that sounds about right. Okay, so everybody, good morning. Happy Saturday. Here comes Stella. She's coming to say hi, too. Uh, let's find our, our pulse in our wrist or our neck. And start counting now. And stop. So there's our number. That's where we want to get back down to. That's kind of our resting heart rate. Unless, you, again, you're running around like crazy in the morning. I've been up since 6 o'clock. Had to walk a bunch of dogs and uh, got us started. So laundromat opens up for self-washing today. So Stella is going for a bath. She doesn't know it yet. She wouldn't be as happy as she is right now. But let's get started. Let's get our workout out of the way because I'm sure we all have wonderful things to do today. I'm playing this Michael Jackson mix again. I say for Doreen, but everybody enjoys it, so. Just gotta get it on to the speaker. You guys start to march it out. Big march. Double step. Double step. Keep going. I need glasses so I can see what's going on. You guys keep stepping. And grapevine. There we go. With a knee. and pull. Knees up front. Hamstrings. Two knees up front. Two 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 hamstrings. And a center squat. Watch that squat. Sitting back. Weights in the heels, you should be able to lift your toes up. Four, three, two, 
one, reach for the floor, right hand, left hand. Stella waiting for Ellie to walk away from that toy. She's an opportunist. Catch the doggy. Add an overhead extension. Floor, ceiling. Floor to ceiling. Pet the dog, ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Pulse it down. You're going to widen your stance. Keep those toes out front. Do not turn the feet out. And lunge it. Take it side to side. Keep those knees behind the toes. Now reach across the chest. Up overhead, reach. Out in front, reach. By your toes, reach. In front, reach. Up high, reach. In front, reach. Down low, reach. In front, reach. Up high, reach. Wide squat right here, down and up. Pulse it down, a little pulse. Hands on your quad. Stay here. Round your back. Release it. Round your back. Release it. This time you're going to round your back, you're going to roll it up. Keep marching. Shoulders back. Elbows back. Arms back. You get some water. We're going to go into cardio. So we know there's three different levels. You ready? Level one is a big march. Level two is a jog. Level three is a run. Let's go. Start to warm up that body. Nice and easy. Breathing in and out. I'm going to get a tissue. Allergies are... Whew. Full effect today. I think the high today is 63 degrees. So I think we went from one extreme to the other. I guess it's not an extreme. In a jumping jacks, level one, level two, level three. Watch your toes. Watch her toes. Try not to step on a paw. Keep it going, get that heart rate up. We're warming up the body. I don't know about you, but I was cold. I took my sweatshirt off just before we started. Back in the jump ropes. Level one is here, low impact, medium, high. So find some place that works for you. Work here, soft knee. Nice soft knee. attention because there's going to be a couple. You're going to step forward, kick, step back, lunge. Same foot kicks, same foot lunges. So level two gets a little jog. Level three, you're going to touch the floor, then jog. Then touch the floor, then jog. Floor, jog. Woo. Keep it going. Level one, you could be here. Step, step, lunge. Step, step, kick. Other foot. Step, step, kick. Step, step, lunge. Take that second to figure it out. Or get that jog. Keep it going. Ten more seconds here. Ready to over the top, over the top, pivot on the foot, level one. Level two gets a little hop, level three is just faster. All the way up and over. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. So what's going to happen with you is you're going to pick a side, but I'm going to face you, you don't have to. You're going to pick one side, hand on the floor, in and out, 
Can't be down that low, you're here. Otherwise, here. Otherwise, here. Leaning on the leg. So leaning on the leg, or down here. Five more seconds, that leg. Ready, set, switch. So other leg, low or hand on the floor. Right on the floor. Keep it going, keep it going. She's like right in the middle of the floor, so I'm trying to work around her. I'm either too close to the camera or too far. Or here. You can pack her while you're down here. Or Molson. Keep going, five more seconds. Pop up, high knees. Level one, level two, level three. So we're gonna do some upper body cardio. If you can't be on your wrist, I'll give you your modifications. We're gonna start with those walkouts. So again, if you can't be on your wrist, you're gonna give me a wide stance and arms out and give me circles. If you can be, level two, wide stance, walk it out to plank and walk back. Level three, walk it out to plank, give me a push up, walk it back. Don't stand up, I'm standing up to be here to show level one. Otherwise, you're down here. Feet are wide, feet are wide. Okay, stay down there, level two and three. Level one, start to take the circles backwards. You're sitting down here. Level two and three, in and out. Level two, walk it in, walk it out. Level three, hop it in, hop it out. So feet get close to the hands and then pop them back. In and out, keep it going. Pop up ski jumps, level one, level two, level three, you're still on the floor. Here. Okay. Heart rate should be high. Woo. Ten more seconds. We're gonna go into that one, two, three, knee. Everyone up, one, two, three, knee. Level two, one, two, three, knee. Level three, it's faster. One, two, three, knee. Ten more seconds. Yes, you can. We're almost done, this is it. So our last push. Okay, we're all marching or jogging. Getting that breathing under control. When I say go, you're gonna come down that fast speed football run. Not yet. Ready, set, go, football run, fast speed. One, two, three, feet are going fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come to the center. March or jog. Get that breathing under control. Second set, let's go, take it out, go. One, two, fast feet. Three, four, you're kind of on the balls of your feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring it in. Now it's a nice flat foot, so feel that release in the calves. One more. Ready, set, go, take it out wide. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. March. Woo! Right in the middle. She's stuck in the middle. Death touch. And yes, I can pick up the toy and throw it. But then she's going to bring it back to me. And an elbow. Four, three, two, 
one and march so we're going to do some twist so you're going to take it wide very wide you're going to sit down into it elbows are up side to side side to side so you're sitting back weights in the heels you should be able to lift your toes up and your hips are not twisting with this just at the waist Stay here, we're gonna take it to double time. So you're gonna feel those elbows coming back a little bit faster. Here we go, side to side. Make sure you're breathing, don't let anything else move. Anything below the waist stays static. Back to singles right here, side to side. If you wanna make them punches, make them punches. In four, otherwise just twisting at the waist. Double time. Quick, make sure you're breathing it out. Elbows up, bringing the elbows around the body. Third set, side to side. Four, three, two, one, take it side to side. Last time, double time. Get it strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Center, deep breath. Woo. Again, deep breath. So you guys liked those pyramids, the ladder the other day? Yes? Press start. Okay, let's get water. Quick drink of water. It's not cold anymore. Gonna give ourselves a nice little stretch. Overhead, pull that out. And the other side, pull that out. Then we're gonna start with our light weights. So your light weights, not your middle weights. So your option is no weights at all. So we reserve the light weights for the very long, so we know the longer the lever, the harder the work. So I know we do delt raises in the front, but usually there's a slight bend. I want you to have nice straight arms for these. And we're gonna be in a rotation. So if you don't have that shoulder rotation, you can be here down low. So it's not as, a, as an intense rotation as it is up top. That's gonna to get into the traps and the delts. If you can't even be up that high, just stay down around the body. Stay down here. Otherwise, shoulders back, nice and easy. Straight up in front, up in front. So nice, easy lift. I'm a half a beat off. Here we go, here we go. Yes, it matters. Now, out to the side, right here. Nice, long, straight arms. Four, three, two, up in front, right here, long arms. Four more. Bring the shoulders down, relax them to the side right here. Now again, I want you relaxed. If you start to feel sharp shooting pain, you always stop. Sharp shooting pain always means stop. Dull agonizing muscle pain means keep going. Up front, four, three, two, to the side right here. Up front, two times. Now remember, if it can't be to the side, you're bringing it around the body. Here we go, to the side. Four, so here, you can be there. Two up in front. Two to the side, right here. We're gonna go into those rotations. Two up front. If you can't do the rotations, you can stay in what we're doing here. Two to the side, so let's talk about it. You can't be in the rotation. It's one up front, 
and one to the side and one up front. Then you can stay there. We're going to come to that four point rotation. Are you ready? You've been ready. What does it look like? It looks like this right here. It's up, out, down, turn it in. Up, out, down, turn it in. Up, out, down, turn it in. Or stay with those one up in front, one to the side. You're fine. Relax the muscles. I don't want you here. Nice and relaxed. Give me one more. Okay, shake that out. Shake it out. I'm going to try and do some lower body. I'm going to keep the weight. I say try to. I'm going to. I'm just going to try and not get alley. So your option, if you want a chair for balance, you can get a chair for balance. We're going to take the side, back, front. So again, chair for balance if you need it. I don't want to kick her. So a little bit off to the side. Weights or no weights. Just the curtsy right here. Curtsy, same picture. Curtsy, tap. Let's try and do this. You guys keep curtsying. Allie. Here, up here. Up there. Now straight back. Now you can stay on a flat foot. If you want to keep the arms moving with the light weights, you can. Four, three, two. Now up front, raise that knee. Try to keep that body square. You don't have to touch the floor. Four, three, two. Right into curtsy right here. Curtsy, 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 four more, four, three, two, straight back. Now again, neuropathy, you're going to go to that flat foot. In four, three, two, up front, raise that knee, eight. You can tap the heel or press the heel out in front. Four. You can keep the arms going if you want to. Curtsy two times. Straight back two times. Knee up in front two times. Curtsy two times. Straight back. Stay here. One more. Knee up front. Curtsy. Straight back. Knee up front. We're going to go to one of each. Let's make me. One curtsy. One straight back. One knee up front. One curtsy. One straight back. One knee up front. One curtsy. One straight back. One knee up front, march it out. We still have these light weights, right? I know, you want to stretch them, we're going to stretch in a second. So we're going to take the movements back behind us. So your knees are soft, your spine is in neutral. So I don't want you here. I want soft knees, round back, fingertips are facing behind you. Press it back, so it's back. Straight back. Again, so I want you to relax. I don't want you up here. It's not here. Straight back. So light weights or no weights? No, this isn't the only move. I'm going to turn around so you can see what happens. Bring the thumbs together. Thumbs together, thumbs out. Thumbs together, thumbs out. Together and out. Four more, relax that neck. Two more. Press the fingertips to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, thumbs together right here. Eight, seven, six, five, 
three, two, third and final set, straight back, straight back. Whoo! So feel all that pressure building. Delts, traps, triceps. Thumbs together right here. So really nail those delts, finishing them off. In four, in three, in two, and one. So what we're gonna do for stretching, you gotta, those light weights, it's light weights or no weights. Very easy. You're just gonna take that arm side to side. You're gonna transfer your weight, toe to toe. Don't take it higher than the shoulder. Little swing, toe to toe. Whew. Four, three, two, get ready to switch arms. Last one, here we go. Switch arms. Level with the shoulder, swing it through. Nice light weight, or no weight at all. Do not do this with a 10 pound weight. Transfer the weight, four, Three, two, one. March it out. You didn't forget about your other leg, did you? I didn't either. Okay, so find your space where Allie's not in your way. Give me the curtsy. Curtsy. Keep curtsying. Here we go. Four. So you make sure those hips stay square. If you want to put the weights on your hips, to make sure, I lost count because I stepped on her twice. Straight back, right here. She wouldn't let me know. That would be too easy. Keep going. I know it's her fault that I stepped on her. Raise that knee up in front. Eight, seven, six, five. You don't have to touch the floor. You can hold on to the chair. Three, two, curtsy, here we go. Eight, seven, six. My body's turning because I'm trying to see what she's doing. Four, three, two, straight back, straight back. You know you can be here, right? Now raise that knee up. Eight. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Curtsy four times. Four. Three. So again, the waist can be here. Straight back. Straight back. Two more. Knee up front right here. Four, three, two, curtsy two times. Straight back two times. Knee up front two times. Curtsy two times. Straight back two times. Lift that knee up. One of each, here we go. One curtsy, one straight back, one knee up. One curtsy, one straight back, one knee up. One curtsy, one straight back, one knee up. One curtsy, one straight back, one knee up, and march. Whew. March it wide. Turn the toes out so you're wide. This is not wide. This is not wide. This is wide. Shoulders are back. Feet are turned out. Not here, not here. I want you to turn them out as much as you can. Wide. Shoulders back. Light weights are no weight. And plie. Down and up. So all that hip work, we're gonna feel that outside of the legs now. Right now we're working the inner thigh. Give me four more. Four, three, two, 
one come down for two. So it's halfway all the way. Halfway and up. Halfway all the way. Whatever you want to do with the arm. You want to be here? You can. You want to be here? You can. It's your workout. One more like that. Down for three, come up for one. So it's three, two, one, come up. Keep those shoulders back over the hips. So as much as you want to lean forward, I don't want you leaning forward. Down for one, come up for three. So you're down, three, two, one. Down. Two more. One more. Down for four, come up for four. Four, three, two, up for four. Down for four. Up for four. Take it down and pulse it down. Eight. She somehow got the plastic bottle out of that thing. She's got mad skills. Eight. It's inside like a pocket. Four, three, two. Bring it up. Shake it out. So I try to tell you, she nibbles with her sharp little teeth. And I don't know if you can see the rug, but it looks like there's like dirt all over it. That's not dirt, that's drool. You need water, get water. You have 15 seconds. We're gonna go into Tabata. So 20 seconds fast as you can go, 10 second breaks. Eight rounds. We're gonna start out right away with fast feet. Almost there. Ready, set, fast feet. Let's go, fast as you can. Fast as you can, get those feet moving. You know the deal, it's your fastest. Your fastest, own it. Be proud of the work you're doing. Be proud of yourself for getting up and doing this. Or even if you're doing it later, be proud that you're doing it. Three, two, one, stop. We're gonna go into jump ropes. We know the deal with Tabata jump ropes. It's fast, Rocky Balboa fast. Ready, set, go. You can be here. If you can't hop, just get the feet going. Just get the feet going, fast as you can. Feel the jiggles in those thighs. It's all right. You can be here. They're quarantine thighs. They're a little hardier. Come on. Seven more seconds, come on. Come on. Three, two, one, stop. We're gonna shoot the basketball right and left. So it's here to here. You can get that hop, that brings up the intensity. Ready, set, go. Side to side. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. You don't have to leave the ground. It's just gonna be a little more intense, but you get a little bit of a twist. Ready, set, stop. We're gonna go into squat hops. So, level one, you're just gonna give me fast squats. Level two, squat hop, squat hop. Level three is just fast, so you ready, set, go, squat hops. So the squat's important, and then hop. Keep going, you don't have to leave the floor. Fast squats, fast squats, fast, proper squats. Pay attention to form, and stop, halfway. Same for exercises, we'll see. Fast feet. Ready, set, go. Fast feet. Get him going. Fast feet. <coughs> fast feet, fast feet. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. We're almost done. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Stop. Jump ropes. If you want to do those side to side jump ropes, you want to do the twist, whatever you want to do. Just do it fast. Ready, set, go. So you can be here. You can be here. Whatever you have to do to get that heart rate up. You can be up here. Arms up, it's gonna get the heart rate higher. 10 more seconds. Or you can be here. All I'm telling you to do is jump the rope. Three, two, one, stop. We're gonna shoot the ball. Left side, right side. Five seconds, recover. And go shoot the ball right to left. Shoot it. You don't have to leave the floor. 
But I want you to push that ball, get that little twist. If you can jump, jump. Three, two, one. Stop, no, one more. Squat hop. How wide your feet are is up to you. Depending on how low you wanna go in that squat. Ready, set, go. So the wider your feet are, you're already down lower than you normally are. So you can get lower in the squat. If you're here, you don't have as much time to get low, so you're not gonna go as fast. But if that gets your heart rate up more, do that. Three, two, one. March it out, nice job. One. Eight exercises. Well, eight different 20 second segments, four different exercises. Step, touch. That's if I remember the first four. And elbow. I did all right this morning. And eight. March, march. We're gonna take it wide, sit down, and jab. So, during these times, we know we got to push ourselves. We don't wait for someone else to empower us. Uppercut. I tell you that when we're not in a pandemic. So, it bodes even truer now. Now hook it, throw your hips. Say in, in, hook. You gotta get up, you gotta motivate yourself. If you want to, send a text or FaceTime a friend just before class to get them up, make sure they're coming. That's a bonus. Up front, jab it out. I know the instructors are still out there, they're still working. Upper cut, but you have to put the work in. Pop. I want you to feel that pop, pop, pop. You're sitting back. Your knees are behind your toes, so you're not here. You're here. Now hook it side to side. Get that elbow up. Boom, boom. Go that elbow. Hip, hip. Up front, jab. Uppercut. Four, three, two, hook it side to side. I can count any way I want to now. I did before anyway. Really, put that power in it. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Woo! Deep breath. Deep breath. Press it out. We work the delts a lot with those light weights. Bring the arms behind you. Open up the front of the shoulders. I think we're going to try and get on the floor. I might regret this. Uh, but we're going to do a chest. We're going to do bridges. And we're going to do those across the bodies. So we do these bench presses. We're going to take them across the body. So if you've done them before and you had a hard time, I suggest having two sets of weights so you can pyramid down to the lower weight or you know, no weight at all. Just get that range of motion. So crossing the body is just gonna target it just a little bit different. Let's see if we can get Allie to let us in here. sit on me, so might be the bonus in the show here. Getting on the floor. Get water, do whatever you need before we get on the floor. See, now I know when I watch these professional 
professionally made videos. Why they have little breaks. It's this stuff here. So they can go into the next exercise without you watching them pick up their dog's chewing. Okay, so coming down on the floor. Ah, we got those arms wide, or not wide. We have them directly over us. The hands are directly over the shoulder. So I should pay attention to your wrists. I don't want them bent all the way back. I want them in a nice natural position. And I don't want you gripping the weight. So take that thumb and release the thumb. Feet are near the fanny. Play an old bench press. So elbows wide. Try and keep them in line with the shoulders. If you don't have that range of motion, they can be a little lower. But I want you to think. 90 degree angles. So 90 degrees in the elbow at the bottom of this move and 90 degree angle arm and body. Four more. Four, three, you're gonna add a bridge, you ready? Down, add the bridge up. Down, add the bridge up. Come on, Down, add the bridge up. <laughs> Keep going, keep that bridge. <laughs> okay, stay up and bridge right here. Stay up and bridge. Bring the elbows down. Keep the bridge. I can't come down anyways because I have a dog under me. Now cross the body. Right side, left side. Right side, left side. Keep going. Right side, left side. Keep that bridge high. <coughs> What's up, Al? Four, three, two, one. We're gonna take a break. You guys stretch. I'm gonna bring her upstairs because I can't have her barking. Because I'm sure everybody's dog is going nuts now. Come on, get this. There's barking, all of them. Okay, second set. So sorry if everyone's done barking now. Sorry. Second set. Feet are close. This time, bring the bridge up. Elbows down, press up. Elbows down, press up. And four. And three. And two. Keep the bridge up. Bring the arms down. Keep that bridge up. Elbows are actually on the ground. Now cross the body. Right side, left side. Right side, left side. Keep that bridge up high. Cross, cross, cross. Four or more. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down, a little break. A little break. So you feel that that's a little more intense in the shoulders when we cross over the body. Third set, elbows wide, feet are close to the fanny, bridge up and press. Bridge up, press. And four, and three, and two. Stay up top of the bridge, bring the elbows down. Keep that bridge up, cross the body. Now, if you're doing this and you feel a sharp shooting pain, come back just to straight up, straight down. Otherwise, bring that weight across the body. Keep that bridge high. You got any more? Yes, you do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, bring it down. Oh my goodness, those are the ones we're gonna feel later. Rock the body up. Bring the hands behind you. Oh, I got dry dog saliva on my face, so that's awesome. Hands behind your back, shoulder blades together. Okay, a little ab work. Can you feel it? 
sitting up. So you're going to bring it back. So when I say bring it back, if this is where you feel it kick in, and this is your movement, that's fine. That's okay. That's a good beginner. Otherwise, I want you here, or I want you here. So then you're going to come down and back. You want to maintain that space between the chin and the chest so you're not looking down at your body and you're not looking at the ceiling. You're looking directly in front of you at your computer, at your TV. So come on back to you feel it and bring it up. So yes, I know that there's lots of birthdays that we're missing. And I totally want to be able to do crunches for everybody's birthday. The problem is it's going to be hard without you in front of me to keep track and to remember, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Four, three, two, now I want you to reach across the body for the opposite foot. So just know, I know that there's lots of birthdays that we're missing. What we can hope for is that by the end of the summer, we're back together, one way or another, and we can celebrate them all. So if we're not in the water, maybe we'll do one jumping jack for every year, for every birthday we miss. Huh? No, we probably all won't make it through that. Four, three, two, one. Take a little break. I lost track and I was going to keep going, but I got to give you a break, right? Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got plenty of time. Okay. So this time, we're going to bring the foot in, and you're going to tap the bottom of the shoe. Hopefully, you have your clean indoor shoes on. Sit back. Here we go. Looks like this. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. So you can make it a little bigger by coming back and then coming forward. If right here is good enough, that's fine. Own it. Otherwise, come back and up. Back, up. You're going to feel the difference if you start to bring your body back. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Little break. Okay, we're going to take it on the hands and knees. If you can be on your hands and knees, if you can't be on your knees, I totally get it. Um, you're going to stay on your back then and probably just do. We're just going to do some lower body stuff. i got to think of the, as we're doing it and as I decide what we're going to do. Because we're going to do these here. So, you know, I think they're dead bugs. So, on your, if you want to be on your back and you want to do dead bugs, you know, it's opposite leg, opposite arm. Otherwise, you're here. And if you want to have those light weights in hand, you can. You're just going to do opposite leg, opposite hand. Nice long extension. So I want you to keep a nice straight line so you're not letting the head hang. You're not looking up. You have a nice straight line. Two more like that. Pick one side, come up for two. So it's halfway, all the way, halfway, down. Other side. Halfway, all the way, halfway, down. Again. Halfway, all the way. Keep going. We're going to slow it down even more. So if you're doing dead bugs on the floor, it's the same thing. Come up for eight right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down for eight. Keep that body square. Other side, up for eight. Eight. Four, three, two, fully extended. Come down. Four. Switch sides, up for four. Four, three, two, down for four. Switch sides, up for four. Down for four. Switch sides, up for two. One, two, down, one, two. One, two, down, one, two, up. Down, one more. 
and pry it back into child pose. Bring it onto the belly. Extend it long. If you can't have the arms out long, you can be here. We're just going to flutter. So take it into that flutter. You guys keep going. I'm getting ready to switch the music. Flutter, flutter. Flutter, flutter. Keep going. Swim for the beach. Swim for the beach. Keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. You still got 10 seconds. I'm trying to get to the music. You guys keep going. Keep going until I can get to the music. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Whew. Take it out wide. Press the palms into the mat. The toes are out long. So you're not up on the toes, you're here. Press up into Cobra. So you're looking up towards the ceiling. If you can get those hips off the floor, that's great. If you can't, you're down here. Come to tabletop. Cat stretch the back. And release it. Cat stretch the back. And release it. Bring one knee in between the hands. The foot slides over the center of the body. The back leg comes all the way back. And if you can, bring the elbows down to the mat. And if you can, bring your head down to your hands. And release that. Put the hands on the mat. Just slide that back leg in a little bit. I don't want you on the knee. I want you on the top of the leg. So bend that leg. So that's going to release the hip flexor. However, if you take the opposite hand, bring it around, grab the outside of the shoe, you're also going to open up the chest. And you're going to get a little deeper into that hip flexor. Now, if you, if you want to and you can and you have the balance, you can come to here. See, my balance is not great today. You can come to here. Now, release that. Hands back on the mat. Slide that foot over. Knees back together. Give me that cat stretch. And release it. Other leg's going to come in between the hands, let it cross over the body, slide that leg back. Elbows down to the mat if you can, and forehead down to the hands if you can. And bring it hands up to the mat. Bring that back leg in a little bit, bend the foot or bend the knee. If you can reach back for that foot, reach back for the foot so you're opening up the chest. And if you really have the balance, both hands. I'm not going to fall over again. Embarrassing. And release that. Slide that foot over, knees together. Curl the toes under. We're going to take this to a, a quick downward facing dog. So I want your palms pressed into the mat. Curls are toed on, <laughs> toes are curled under. And you're going to bring the hips up to the ceiling. Press the chest towards the legs and press the heels into the floor. So you want your head between your arms, pushing your shoulders towards your legs or pushing your chest towards your legs. Now bring the knees back down, and we're going to bring it over onto the back. Hands on the knees, rock it back. 
extend the arms. And now bring them down by your side and palms to ceiling. Close the eyes. We need to take this minute to breathe. Every time you inhale, you feel the chest rise to the ceiling. And every time you exhale, you feel that belly button come all the way down to the floor. Relax the muscles in the neck and the shoulders. And release that tension in the jaw. Feel the shoulders melt into the mat. The triceps melt into the mat. The forearms melt into the floor. The fingertips melt into the floor. Feel the pressure release across the hips. So the spine melts a little bit deeper into the floor. Backs of the legs. Calves. Ankles. And feet. And float. Deep breath in, give the toes a little wiggle on the exhale, deep breath in, open the eyes, give the fingertips a little wiggle, deep breath in, draw the right knee to the chest, hold it there, exhale, deep breath in, left knee comes up to meet it, exhale, great big deep breath in and rock the body up, right into wide straddle stretch. sure you're not hyperextending those legs or the knees, hands on the floor. So what I want us to focus on this week is being positive. So again, I know I've been saying this for months, but you know, turn off the news. I want you to be aware of what's going on, um, but I think a lot of us are already suffering from some anxiety. Bring the hands to one foot. And I think too much news will definitely make that worse. Um, so be informed, but don't spend 24 hours watching the news. And bring it over the other side. And what can we do to make the world a better place from where we are right now? How do we spread love? How do we get a positive message to the people we care about. So focus on that. What can we do? One hand on each foot. Part of that starts with just within our circle and reaching out to the people we care about and let them know we're here. Bring it up. One foot to the inner thigh. Reaching for those toes. We want to go out and do good things. We want to go out and be good people. Bring that foot up and over. Elbow outside the knee. So I used to tell my sons every day, just ask your mom one time, ask your mom, what can I do to make today just a little easier for you? So find your person one person, right down on the hip. So one person might not change the world, but you can change the world for one person, right? And other side, foot to the inner thigh. So what can I do to make your day just a little better? Foot up and over, elbow. Down under the hip. And 
come center. Find your pulse either in your wrist or your neck. Start counting now. And stop. So compare that to your number from earlier. Hopefully, hopefully we're lower because again, I think we're running around more. Um, now that we're at home, because we're trying to get one more thing done, get one more dish in the dishwasher, get, let the dog out one more time, I, I get it. Slowly coming up from the floor, feet are wide, head's the last thing to come up, roll that body up, shoulders back, elbows back, arms back, one more time, shoulders, elbows, arms, for a big deep breath, let one arm drop between the shoulder blades. Release that other arm between the shoulder blades. And release it. We'll be back at it on Monday. I'm not sure what we're going to do Monday. Maybe stations. I don't know. But I'll see you Monday. Go out. Do good things.